thank you my lord i have got no further questions of clarify the questions of wanted from the okay. thank you my lord any reexamination maybe just one aspect my lord just based on the question by mr ramsepi he showed you the head as per exhibit c by the the epithelial cells were lifted from the brim of the of the head yes yes ma'am okay yeah go get that one and then the other which for the mass epithelial epithelial cells i are part of the map also the epithelial and in answer to mr ramsey please question is say you can only say the dna profile on the brim of the head exclude the suspects the fact that on certain low side you were able to reach the suspects into the uh, the, the the dna profile um it is is that of any significance my lord the fact that i read you in 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 or uh, not in all the dna regions mm. it has significance because if i don't read you in all the dna regions it means you are excluded for us to include you we need to include you in all the dna regions yes. <laughs> Yes, my lord. Yes. Yeah, bo, ngenga buzo lokho ke, ukunyo ke, ngeke vinyo engazange sacetho. Because as some the DNA. There's some listening to your evidence. There are symbols which you attribute to what you call regions. Is that not so? Yes, my lord. And then for instance, you make a conclusion that uh, you have identified the occurrence of certain symbols in a particular sample of a donor. <laughs> Ten times, let's put it like that. Yes, my lord. And then, let's say four of those tests did not indicate any DNA. It was inconclusive, right? Yes. And then in four, you say those symbolism of the regions is excluded. Is that not so? Look you say 16 you say 16 is the paramount figure yes. right yes my lord in the test which you have concluded as I've, i was listening to you yes you say for instance a certain person is included as you say you will read yes that person into the testing of that dna test right yes six times for instance right yes, yes. and then you say in four other occasions i did not read him or her into that equation is that not so yes my lord so is that not an inconclusive no result my no my lord okay and inconclusive we we don't really say inconclusive we say no conclusion i say yeah so it's where we are missing you in one basically we say if we miss you in one or two so if we miss you in one or two then we will say is no conclusion we will, we right. will say we can't make a conclusion whether we are including you or excluding you right yes so to get omang abe kula margin um ufuzo lapho anvelele okanye ke um um le um simbolize tezithwayo 
e mai la laghe e nella che camare l'acqua gauchu sambe e uma se pega su sto ruci che le lo le io simbolo e gu ruci iona emele e camalaco ai ai bulla poke city e kineni si numa ruci le zoe vivino ai ai pelelana ogani Aspetaran aso, gena yoku tige, wenage au feleli, ushuti guo wonge, ama 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 riji. Right, I'm with you there. In other words, you're aware of obviously the high watermark of fingerprints, right? In terms of identification of a person. My lord, um. I'm not, uh, I know you're not an expert, yeah, but I can tell you that the standard of proof in a fingerprint evidential matter is that there must be seven points, seven points of identification. Mm -hmm. If they're not, even if you can have six, you can't say this person is a person who is named Ratamokotli, even if he has six points of identification which are similar. As long as it is not seven, they say it is not identification before. Beyond the requirement of proof. Are you with me? Yes, my lord. Is it not the same concept? It's the same concept with us as well yes. to say that if we don't include you in all the 16 regions, you are not included. Yes. yes. Ogotchi <laughs> Gandike leo nubogue yyo le sitin suwa yu nang hapa kuma DNA. Uma ngabe la marichin au 16, awa vezi kubuchu wonke au 16 gandalo, a veza ke in nambolo yu mungu otizi. Uma ngabe leo nambolo ae vezwa gula wa marichin au 16 gandalo, sitike lo mungu ya kishwa aga fawa. Mwanda mazu. Yeah, quite so. Have you ever conducted a DNA test where all the 16 regions are excluded because, for instance, as you say, on the swap, it says 7, 8, 9, and then on the symbol, the pro forma uh, example of the Tehuna, you find 8, 9, 10. The disparity is so large that you can't say there are similarities in, in any of the DNA symbolism. Have you ever done that? Wait, you say there are 18, 16, sorry, 16 points of none. No, my lord. You, you, I haven't seen where yeah. you will exclude a person in all, oh. all the 16. Quite. You will ultimately get in one or two. That's it. Yes. So, DNA coincides in all the tests you have made. Is that not so? Parts of particles of DNA coincided in all the tests you've made. Can I make that statement? Uh, my mm. Lord, if you can just verify what you mean. For instance, in one of the tests you said there were identification points in the in your testing yes. of regiments. Yes. On about, I think, six. Yes. Right. Yes. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Six. So what what it means is the um, there are some regions where um, that person characters we can see them in the mixture, but yeah. for you to conclude that that person is a contributor to that particular mixture, you need to read him not in six but or in all of them. Yeah, quite. Right. I'm with you. Yes. Like for instance in. Identical twins, is that yes. not so? Yes, in identical twins. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm with you. Any questions arising? None, my lord. Mm -hmm. I've got no, my lord, I have no questions. No Thank questions, you. my lord. Thanks. Sir?
It pertains only to accused number two. Indeed, my lord. Has the defence been given this document? Yes. They are aware of it? Yes. Okay. Thank you. They say the witness is. Uh, full name, sir. Hendrik Louis Mulder. Hendrik Louis Mulder. Um, do you have any objection in taking a prescribed oath? No, I don't. Do you swear that the evidence you are about to give will be the truth? The whole truth, nothing else but the truth, if so? Raise up your right hand. Say, so help me God. So help me God. Oh, take it, my Lord. 
Thank you. You may be seated if you want to. And then there's no chair there. Mr. Mulder, where do you work? Your Lordship, I'm employed by Sabania Gold. James Abanzala is Sabania Gold. In what capacity? I'm employed as a human resources manager. May I say what I'm doing human resources manager? For how many years have you been working for Sibanya Gold in that capacity? Your Lordship, I've got 29 years service with Sibanya. Again, I'm in a lot of 29 in service with Sibanya. And where is this company based? The company is based uh, near Coltonville. In company, we have a secure software necessary to the Coltonville. But we've got uh, various operations. Um, our Driffontaine operation is the one at, uh, at Coltonville operates. So now my operation is the one that we have to do. We have to do Driffontaine. We have to do the same thing. And what type of business does this company carry? We are in precious metals, uh, specifically gold mining. So now we have seven different metals. We have to go to the police. We mine the police. Now, in your capacity as human resource manager, do you have access to the company records of, do, of employees? I do yes. Yeah, but um we are gonna get school like you spent a good panel, um glue a mine, gina walk uh um five wabas events about some of the colour for your mind. I just want to show you exhibit D D. Do you recognize that exhibit? Can you just identify it for the court? What is it? Um, this record refers to a system print um, that indicates the, the employment history um, of Mr. Tanzi. Should you the a uh, computer, that one. Yes, can you just give his full names? His particulars? It's uh, Mr. B.S. Ntanzi. And according to this, it's an employment record for Trifontein uh, Gold Mine. Employed as a stopping laborer. And the other OBS is a thing stopping. Seven is a stopping labor. From the 18th of uh, April 2009. Seven is a lot of work. So on the 18th is like April 2009. Yes. Until when? <laughs> The same system record for Mr. Ntanzi indicates that he was employed up to the 18th of February 2018, your lordship. And his reason for exit was desertion, so he absconded from work. Up to 2016. Go to Lanagewa, Sebenza Ophiange, 18th of February 2016. Gantiga is a sense which my Rasu will have for the Ogani, Asu, Lemsebin, Ingoba, Wa, Village, Wanga, Pindi, Essaya, and Sebenzin. And where on exhibit DD does it appear? That information that is just present on the Cotonish page? It's on NHRB. Lokogego, Velakon, Panagego, and extra B. Now, at your company, are employees 
monitored to report on duty in general areas. Yes, Your Lordship. And when they access general areas? Yes, they are monitored uh, for the purposes of their own safety. Yes, okay. Um, by a cash flow, when I pay an organ, my bed was ether, when I pay an M7 Zini. And I will end up in a trailer in the Fernando M7 Zini. When the lag, which is the which is about the Fernando M7 Zini. What system is in place to monitor them? Um, your Lordship, each uh, uh, employee employed by the, by the company is issued with a unique uh, talking card. This is a seven of the Payana. See, niggas are a lentis visa, a clocking card. You have to clock up. And your Lordship, this card is used then by employees to gain um, access to strategic uh, areas as well as their working places. Gantige lelo katige lom sabenze. Libanige zage ipu nya lo munge enage ege nisimiti lom sabenze. Inda wene itige e kechiwe ne inda oge e fanelguti aba sabenze batola gale muzo. And what would those strategic areas be? It's um, your Lordship, it's mainly um, entry points into um, work areas as well as the residential areas we employees stay. We can get we can end the way a KT when the eight is a so low log when the way on seven in our a final go ticket who is sound and family will get in the way a TV on seven can take a time to go to corner the moon in yango Ogani is sawa, ogani dona ge elhole lekuli mungu ayenda wili yokuza na ogani yemizi. The documents that are before you, those floating records are those. Your lordship, these floating records belong to Mr. Bungani in Tanzania. Gantige lomlando ge wokloka, ogani lama record wokloka ge umnilwa o uyelona u bongani ndanzi. If I can ask you to turn to the page that's written individual clocking history on the 24th of October 2014. On the computer, I see that the 20, the 2 of 2014 did not come out when copies were made. We will make uh, new copies. You're saying what hasn't appeared? The 2 of 2014. Oh, okay. I see. 2014. Yes. Yes. Can you just place the clocking history of Mr. Bongan in Tanzi on the 24th of October 2014? But if you look at the history of Loka, they are Babun Tansi, born in Tansi. The Kulgazi is a very late date, the age 24th of October 2014. Your Lordship, on the, the left hand side of, of page 2 of the individual clocking history for this date, on the left hand side it um, appears as the in clockings. The time um, from which the, uh, the individual has clocked, uh, as well as the, the places where he's clocked and the type of access uh, at those individual clocking. So for the 24th of October. So just before you proceed, just show the portion where it's written in clocking. Yes. So on, on this side, it contains the details of the in clocking. Yes. And on this side, it reflects the details of the out clocking. Should you go back? Is one second? Just look at Amakuluma Bella Lanage. Amal Lanage no longer na M7Z. Good luck. No go puma. Go up and get some food. Amakulum Abum Sakonage Uti Lanube Puma. Then the city get we are clock out. Yes. So for the. 24th of October, um, Your Lordship, I can see that at 17 minutes past 8, uh, there was an access clocking. 
um, then again at um, half past eight in the uh-huh. evening, sorry, um, there was another access clocking, and then at uh, 31 minutes uh, past eight o'clock in the evening, there was a food uh, clocking. Manje, Uma Sefer, and 24 October 2014. One o'clock, one again, and from the SRQ way. Is Katanga and Gaso, a glass of Kiwas from Sebenzi, Guaba, or seventeen minutes past eight, Epsu, twenty seventeen. Or was Bini, Wapinda for two Wayong and a Kodaglas of Sakiwo, go half past eight, Epsu, twenty thirty. Eleven to a access. Guaba is on again, is his actual with Maranga. Gantiga, a sense that to Sogun and a glass of Sakiwo. Baba is a to so good, like a good food, like a good, is cut is at twenty thirty one. Yes, you can proceed to the twenty fifth. Your Lordship, then on the twenty fifth um, of October twenty fourteen, it reflects uh, that Mr. Tanzi entered a work area access point at five minutes to four in the morning and then the second access point one minute later at four minutes to four in the morning and then proceeded through the work clocking access at three minutes to four on that same morning. Gantig and Gay, 25 October 2014 one again again this is here on five to four five to four three fifty five wa pinde futhi ke wayonge na kleso sakhi yo futhi em ngo 356 futhi umzuzu emva kuthi angene ukuqala wa pinde futhi ke wangena ke seyo sebenza ke manje em ngo 357 3 minutes before 4 exit can you just explain those two um, access areas what what are they so, Your Lordship, they are defined by, by the, uh, um, if you look at the in-clocking here, it's got a, on the top there, it's got a heading that says point, and that actually tells you where that access clocking has happened. So, A48 and A09 are both uh, clocking points at the shaft. <laughs> Mandingapan <laughs> Are there certain points that they have to go through before they get to the work area? Uh, that's correct, Your Lordship. It's part of um, our security measures at the mining industry. Yeah, but wait, so when Jalo, who can I get in that work? Eight is as you can tell. Have a fun and good band with the rules. And the bag, 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 the the next clocking should be in the table um, again on the right side of page two um, under the 20. 5th of October 2014, uh, which indicates the outclocking. Uh, so, according to this record, it indicates that uh, Mr. Tanzi clocked out from his workplace uh, one minute past six. That is, in your mind, you have been in one every little little paper on page two. Your individual clocking history. Since I will have column A, I guess I'm the subject. Column A is B. 
yonake ikhuluma ngokuphuma kwakhe emsebenzini lento sithi ukuhloka out ake sithi ke nge 25 uzika October 2014 eh nge 1 minute past 6 wabuma leso sakhiwo somsebenzi yena lolo babuntanzi is it good please my lord this be an appropriate time to take the long journey yeah. okay We have now made uh, visible copies and also numbered them. I want to just ask you to register. Oh, some of them were not visible. Yes, the, like the year um, the 2014. Okay. with number then page 1 up to 13 1 up to 13 yes okay yeah we just before the adjourn, the long adjournment we are on page 5 the page that is number this page 5 <coughs> which is which was originally page 2 Yes, yes. Okay, fine. Yes, yeah. Yes. And we were on the clocking history, the art clocking. The witnesses just referred to the the time 0601 yes. that appeared there. Just for a quick purpose, just put that again on the record. What does that time represent? Uh, your lordship, um, so Um, before we we broke for the for the lunch break yeah. um, i just clarified that in terms of the right hand column then uh, which refers to outlockings yes. uh, it indicated that um, Mr. Tomzi then um, had a work exit clock or outlocking one minute past six yes so the angle by the so that's okay for your vote ngiyengakhulumake <coughs> the the time um, the date on record sorry the date on record um, that I'm referring to is the 25th of October uh, 2014 you know then to get it date is coming right over yona ke ya nge 25th is the October 2014 so for how long did you work on on the 25th of October 2014 at the times that you've mentioned so Um, your lordship if we look at the work in clocking that was 3 minutes to 4 and the out clocking which was 1 minute uh, past 6 it uh, just roughly gives you around 2 hours that the western tanzi was at work so to get uma sepega le zinga te zo tu 357 uma engene msebenzini loko esethi phetsi ngo clock at in wange nemsebenzini ngo 357 kanti ke wasike uya kuma emsebenzini wa clock out ngo 1 uh, minute past 6 1 minute past 6 lokho ke kusho ukuthi usebenze nje amahora ngaba u2 phezu kwa mahora nje u2 yes um you look at then um mr according to this record again mr tanzi then Um, I had two access uh, clockings again uh, the first of those access clockings after his work clocking was uh, two minutes past six which is one minute after his uh, work clock out and then three minutes past six he exited his, his workplace <coughs> you will also note and I just want to state for the court and the record that the clocking points on the out clockings um, corresponds with the in clocking points um, on the left hand side of uh, page 5 again get the clock out work 
aya fana ke okanye aya hambelana nama coach wo clocka in wa kanye mazwe ke uma ke ezophuma ke emsebenzini o lesakhiwo sasemsebenzini ophuma endaweni eyi fana nalezi angene kuzo uma engene emsebenzini ukuthi uma ubheka ke lemini ngwana ke leliphepha ngaku right lokho kuyabonisa ke ukuthi wa wa clocka out Eva we minute uh, past six. We pin the what clocker out two minutes past six. We clocker out for two or three minutes past six. Ain't that we need to find a knowledge of clocker news? Magangena in seven zero. Then you launch at the the last uh, clocking then on the out clockings for the 25th of October 2014 indicates uh, access clocking at the hostel. Which was three minutes to seven in the morning. So, Chico, what we have come again? If we are going to find a hostel, go three minutes. I go by bush a four and this combi six fifty-seven. So, Chico, we clock a walk a pool M seventeen. We go to now a day twenty-five. This is October twenty-fourteen. And according to my observation, um, there is no further clocking, uh, Your Lordship, for the 28th, 27th, uh, ach, sorry, the 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st uh, of October or the 1st of November. Uh, the first clocking again registered on our clocking system indicates the 2nd of November at one a minute past 9pm uh, and it was again an access clocking at the hostel. Uma sese pegage amanya mateite E26, E27, E28, 29, E30, nange E31 gandi nange 1 zika November 2014 aga zange atloke ange ngele ngele ezo what to age? What in the one gena put him seven zero? What to what clock age? And gena him seven zero. Gate two, zero November, twenty fourteen. Is that an gena Guaba i one minute past nine. Epsu. No matter twenty one zero one. Na kona age? And gena him seven zero. Jalo lelo sango age? El seven zero swa yo abase beans. Ugut magan gena age? Him seven zero. Na se waste. Now, for those dates that you've mentioned, 26 October 2014, up to the 1st of November 2014, where there were there were not clockings, is there any accountability for that? Yes, Your Lordship. Um, and I just want to state for the record, uh, if the court um, yes. should maybe wonder why there was a discrepancy in my initial statement and, and yes. um, this, is that at the time of the investigation, when I was approached uh, to do my statement, I solely wrote my statement based on uh, the, the evidence that was on the clocking history. <laughs> Bukona Ugna Umelani, where statement in Asenza, Gantige, Nando Fazi, and the Fulan and Clansu. In Tanu Shoke, Uguchi, Gankatin in an Panamaso statement, Ogan in Fulabeso statement to Sam, Madame Lavita. Mina Gangan Nigera, who would the minimum one, Emma Lanage, net clocking history, Ogan Umlando, Wongena Guake, M. Sedenzi. However, Your Lordship, when I was approached um, by the state to testify in this case, I actually pulled uh, the personal file of Mr. Ntanzini. And I felt it was imperative for me to, to notify uh, and to, to state for the record that there was a leave absence notification submitted for Mr. Tanzini 
for the period 27 October 2014 to 31 October 2014. <laughs> Sasim Punyazaga, Ubuti, Umagas Nigazi, as a Nigazu son, Ubuti Maga Magabe, to the Anna be called him seven zero twenty seven, October twenty fourteen, a Tati Kefu El Pelela El Pelela Pana Gay thirty one, Ziga October twenty fourteen. To get the Benga Kim seven zero twenty seven. Of the year 1931, the October. Okay. And the document I'm referring to, Your Lordship, is number 12 in the document pack, uh, which um, then can confirm that Mr. Tanzini applied for unpaid leave, and he stated it was for personal problems. Can I tell you, I'm going to the 12. I personage el shoyo el pete when el kugete milenuane el shoyo uti wa kena ili ogani ike yonga m seven zini m enga patali we. Page twelve. Shuti ge ikasile twelve kusku manga loke. Muti kusua ngale soskati kwe ngale skati stize ndela ge kati kefu enga patelo. And the court will also note that Mr. Tanzini, as well as his supervisor and his HR, approved his leave application for this period. Gantige u supervisor wa ake, gantina lona ge o pete in la baza baza benzi, o ganiye o guye na ge o lau na ge in la baza benzi baza benzi na kona ba uase ba chini manager, human officer, manager ya ake. Supervisor was signer, and manager was signer. Who can say he was by a woman who took Untanzi, Magatati. Yes, and for which period did he get leave of absence? The leave of absence was approved, Your Lordship, from the 27th to the 31st of October uh, for those five consecutive days. Just then, in summary, uh, Mr. Melder, when did Mr. Tanzi work for the last time? Uh, before he exited the services of the company. Uh, he is, uh, according to the uh, which is on, uh, the, on, the, on the 25th. According to, uh, apologies, your Lord. Um, according to the clocking history, the last um, whereabouts can be confirmed on the 25th of October 2014, uh, three minutes to seven. Uh, when there was an outclocking at the hostel at Shishpur. Okuya ge galento esi visa ge e individual clocking history. Ogane ge umlando wa ke wo kloka kuma sanem seven zeni. Njen ke babo ke wo ye eto ante gan jalo. Wa ke no ubona kuna ubona kuna lafana em seven zeni. Gan le ge 25 ga October 2014. This card is as it is three minutes before seven. You mentioned that he did put in leave for the 27th of October 2014 to the 31st of October 2014. Is there any explanation for uh, his non clocking on the 26th of October 2014? Um, I, I would not be able to say, but um, he would not have been expected at work. But um, if he, he did the result in the hostel, um, it would have reflected the clock in the lodge. Woman, I don't know if you say hostel. Lock of the big of the Lela Conalapana and Bullum Lando Waki will clock upon the Lapana Gazaza, Lesa, Zakio, the same thing. My Lanagan or Ruti. 
The reason why I'm, I'm stating that uh, your Lordship is, um, you can see again from the, the clocking history from the, the 2nd of November that it reflects um, the access clocking at 1 minute past 9, 12 minutes later Mr. Ntanzi entered the, the kitchen in the hostel and then at um, quarter past 9 in the evening he then clocked for food in the hostel. Thank you, my love, for this one. Thank you, two persons. <coughs> Thank you, my love, I mean, that's it. <coughs> now, sir, in your evidence in chief, you've just referred to a statement that you had previously made in this matter, correct? <coughs> Is that correct? That's correct, sir. We have written to law from the term and law in Fagaza Mandel, we have made a statement in the Senate of Mandelay. My Lord, if I may respectfully res uh, refer the witness to A150, that's a statement made by him uh, on Monday, the 22 of June at 16.50 p.m. Uh, on, the, on the 22nd of June 2020. And it was commissioned by Brigadier or now Kenan. Bongani Nicholas Geninda at the Pretoria Head Office, NATCOM Office. And it reads, it's on the letterhead of Sibanyas Pilovota, and with leave of the court, may I read it to him, my Lord. <clears throat> and it says, statement, I, Hendrik Louis Melder, ID number, I'm not going to read it on record, in my capacity as Unit Manager, Human Resources, employed at Sibanye Stillwater Gold Division, hereby state as follows. Hendrik Unit Manager, Human Resources, the Stillwater, Division Paragraph 1 According to the company record, Mr. B. S. Ntanzini, industry number Z, 7841016, was employed by Drifontein Division of Sibanye Stillwater on the 18th of April 2009 in the position of scoping laborer, and in brackets you refer to Annexia A, that is the printout from the HR system as proof of employment, close bracket. <coughs> Oh, Mr. B.S. Ntanzini, on the industry number, the number of the number of the number of the number of the the number of 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 Gantige, who um, annex A, you wanna get over here, print out ye um, system ye HR, Ogu Fagazi, uh, Bogotige, 
ukhona uma record wethu wabantu abasebenzayo at paragraph 2 uh, further to this the company records reflect that Mr. Tanzini's services were terminated by Drifontein division on the 18th of February 2016 after he absconded from work and in bracket we say we refer to annex B which is a print out from the HR system as proof of exit from the company to his bracket report uh, company <coughs> abodisage ukuthi umister Tanzini um wa kwashwa ke okanye wasulwa emsebenzini ukuba lapha na Edri Fontaine division nge 18 zika February 2016 emva kokuthi ke angezi okanye emva ukuthi ahluleke ukuza emsebenzini kuna lento esibiza i print out wena maphepha akhishwe ke i system yase emsebenzini okuyiyona ke okufakazi bokuthi useyafumake enkampanini okanye uyasulwa kona lapha nake enkampanini at paragraph 3 annex C refers to the clocking history of Mr. Tanzini between the 24th of October 2014 up to the 3rd November 2014 this is a system report generated by the company's time and attendance system whereby employees are issued with a smart card and are required to and are required to clock for work access and meals according to this report Mr. Tanzini last reported for duty on the 25th of October 2014 at 3:57 a.m. and left work at 6:01 a.m. there are no further work access or meal clockings for the 26 27 28 29 30th 31st of October or the 1st of November 2014 in the absence of a scheduled absence record one can conclude that Mr. Tanzini was absent without permission and in bracket is the AWOP that is the acronym during this period manje ke um so so let me finish reading it I'm sorry the next record at looking is for access and a meal on the 2nd of November 2014 at 21:15 pm ganti ke u anexa si wona ke ukukhuluma ke ngomlando wokuhlopha kakhe khona lapha nemsebenzini sikuma ngayo umesi Tanzini ukusuka nge 24 ka October 2014 ukufika ke nge 3 ka November 2014 ganti ke isibikeze lokhe lesi ese system esakhi shwa yiyo i system um yale nkampani ngenkathi ke um elobo eza okanye ezokhoka khona lapha emsebenzini lapho ke kubonakala khona ke ukuthi um lona ke umsebenzi okanye lo sebenzela le nkampani wani ke zwake i smart card um ganti ke kulindelwe ke ukuthi maka atloke ngayo leyo smart card emsebenzini akwazi ke ungena khona lapha na emasangwe nasemsebenzini ganti ke akwazi ukuthi nokuthi athole nokudla ukuya ke ngale sesifikezelo umiste Tanzini wagcinwa ke ubonwa emsebenzini okanye wagcina ukuze emsebenzini nge 25th of October 2014 isikhathi sasithi 357 exceni Nanyamazwe 3 minutes before 4:00 p.m. Kusenye waseke uyasuka khona lapha nekani waklocka ke ephumi emsebenzini nge 1 minute uh, past 6 ekseni ganti ke um, ayisekho ke um, <coughs> um, shuthi ke awusekho ke uh, umlando obonakalayo ke uma yelana ke nomsebenzi wakhe okanye ofika khona lapha nokanye ukungena khona lapha na e zakhiweni e zomsebenzi wenza le nkampani nokuthi mhlambe ayotloka ukuthi akwazi ukuthola ubudla e lokho sibone ukuthi akasakhona ukwenza lokho okusuka nge 26 27 28 29 nange 30 31 zika October noma e i1 zika November 2014 ukuthi ngazo zona lezo yithubuke ubengekho ube umlando wokuthi atloke emsebenzini ubusu ngasabonakala nokuthi mhlambe angatloka atlokele ukudla nalokho bese sekungasabonakala 
now, if I may refer you respectfully to the <clears throat> annual leave application form that you have referred to in your evidence in chief, which will be at page 13. Uh, if you can go there for me, please. Now, if we look at the bottom section with the columns, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, accused number two applied for that leave way back in uh, 14th of July 2014, correct? This is a good to open the land. I'm not from Mangalela, West Bay, Uwenzage, East Los Angeles, day 14, Ziga Chula. Uh, your Lordship, I can't see anything to that effect on this, this form. If the, the French can just... Um, if, if we look perhaps uh, at uh, the top, after the, uh, the heading, annual leave application form at the top, there will be a column with three blocks there. I don't know what you call them, three cells. At the right, it will have a print date and time, which is 14 July 2014 at 5.13.46 a.m., that's when this form was generated. At the top right hand. Okay. Yes. And below where the employee, the supervisor, and the head of department signs also is on the same day, the 14th of July, 2014. Do you see that? Your Lordship, um, I just want to, to um, just uh, maybe for the record, just clarify. Yes. Um, the, the record that I testified to was uh, number 12 in the pack. Number 12. Uh, number 13 actually refers to an annual leave application um, that Mr. Tanzini applied for annual leave earlier in the year. You'll see the commencement of that leave is the 25th oh, of okay. so, so, July okay. 2014. Correct, correct. Let's go to... to the Yes. Show Okay, the one that I am looking at, I can't actually that it's called, uh, the, the title is Leave uh, slash Absence Notification. That's the one that you referred to, correct? That's correct. City leave slash absence notification. And that's the one that was approved for the leave date starting from the 27th of October 2014 to the 31st of October 2014 for five days, correct? That's correct. Now, if we look at that uh, leave 
absence notification form, and we come to your statement where it says, in the absence of a scheduled absence record at paragraph 3, one can conclude that Mr. Antanzini was absent without permission during this period. That, that was a mistake on your part, correct? As I stated to the court, now, regarding his absence on Sunday, the 26th of October, 2014, my instructions are that, according to his contract, he was not working Sundays. It was a non-working day for him, so there will be no reason for him to clock on duty on the 26th of October, 2014. What is your comment to that? Um, that would be correct, sir. And, and further, the non clockings for the 27th to the 1st of November, uh, yes, 21st of, uh, the 27th of October 2014 to the 1st of November 2014, my instructions are that he wouldn't clock at that period because he was on leave that we know was approved, but that he was also at home in KwaZulu Natal. Hence, there was no talking history during that time period. Do you have any comment on that? Um, yes, Your Lordship. So I can confirm that um, because of his absence, he wouldn't have any clockings, but I cannot confirm his whereabouts, unfortunately. <coughs> And furthermore, why he did not talk specifically also regarding the 1st of November 2014, which was a Saturday. He instructs me that because he worked on Saturday the 25th of November, there's one in, one out. So if he worked the one Saturday, the next Saturday, you are not on duty. It's your day off. That's why he did not log on this, the 1st of November 2014, only returned to work on Sunday, the 2nd of October 2014. That is correct, Your Lordship. At the moment we work uh, ESF system, which is one Saturday on one off. And you were asked as to the number of hours that were put as a shift on the 25th, which is from just before 4 o'clock until just after 6 o'clock, which is two hours. My instructions are this, that when employees go on leave and they are traveling mainly because they are from out of province, they'll have prior permission from their supervisor that they can leave early because they are traveling out of province. Therefore, he had permission that day from his supervisor to leave at 6 in the morning. That was approved. He didn't work his whole, whole, whole shift. Is, um, your Lordship, um, they, it is not a standard code of practice. Um, it usually um, falls into arrangement with some supervisors with annual leave. 
So um, it would be unjust for me to confirm or to deny whether yes, there was that arrangement. Now, finally, regarding the access for meal, access to the kitchen, my instructions are that it is not compulsory or mandatory to eat at the kitchen. They are even including himself. There are people that cook in their rooms if they don't want to eat from the meal provided in the kitchen. They try on other dates, they won't be cooking for meals regarding his cooking history. Is your lordship, it's not compulsory to make use of uh, the hostel kitchen. However, that's why you'll see when employees do make use, they have to talk for their meals. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Melder. Uh, thank you, Madam. I mean, that those are my questions. Any examination? As much as one aspect. Mr. Ramosipi, on behalf of Actress number two, put it to you that the accused had permission on the 25th of October 2014 from his supervisor to leave at 0601. What was the length of the shift that he had to work on the day? Your Lordship, the normal um, shift for a Saturday uh, is a four-hour shift. Um, anything less would be considered a short shift unless there is other work arrangements where overtime would be paid and compensated. And what is the position if an employee gets permission from his supervisor to leave early? Is it documented anywhere? Uh, your Lordship, it's unfortunately not documented anywhere. Um, however, um, in terms of the talking system, uh, um, I can just state for the court that if he left early without permission and due to his clocking duration status, it would put the company in a position to take disciplinary action if he left without permission. <laughs> Thank you, Yes, it's not that. You said you had a file with you. Is that the labor relations file in respect of the employee? No, case number two. You, you Lordship, the, the file that I have with me is the employee's personal file records. So it doesn't contain the ER records um, specifically, 
that is all leave applications, um, all of the uh, documentation, process documentation collected during his employment with the company, including his uh, original offer of employment, etc. Okay. <laughs> But according to that personal file and the records of clocking, on the 26th of October 2024, does it not show that he was not at work? Accused number two on that day. Yes, Your Lordship. According to the, the clocking history, it shows on the 26 no clockings for work or access because he wasn't expected at work. Yeah, but the point I'm trying to make is was he or was he not on work according to your records on the 26th of October? He was he, not at work. He was not at work. Would you have, have payment records concerning that day, that particular day? Was he paid? for that day, the 26th of October? Uh, Non-working days um, is actually on the, the employee's payslip, it will reflect as such. So on his payslip it would have had a code that would say NW, uh, which is a non-working shift. Can you, can you give the prosecutor at your leisure the payslip for that period? Is it possible? Yes, uh, Your Lordship, we can. In respect of the month of uh, October up to the 1st of November, is it possible? We can make it available to the court, Your Lordship. Yeah, you don't have to come to court. But what you have to do is, if you have it, then you make an affidavit, okay? Well, to certify that that payslip is in respect of accused number two and it is in respect of the period. From, you pay them on the first of the month, or what? The, uh, we work on a 25-day cycle, but um, it includes the non-working days, so it's from the first to the last day of the month. But depending on the pay cycle, we also have uh, five different pay cycles. So um, I'll just have to confirm with the records, uh, Your Lordship, when is his exact cycle uh, dates. And then I will make sure that we extract a payslip to cover that period. Yes, please. And then you make an affidavit to the effect. And it can be handed up to court. But if you don't make an affidavit, then you'll have to come back here physically. Are you with me? Noted, Your Lordship. Can you make arrangements with both Mr. Ramo Sepidi and the prosecutor, Mr. Baloui, how this exercise is going to be conducted? Okay. Yes. Major, we have um, and first one of the your final which uh niggas are negative statement this commission um Uma in a way the local your for the which you were low for fair which my guess a lot of a pin the foot as a two fathers back in the local which uh the way the pin sales or which the commission is or handelana now the pin sleep later. Everyone is 
uyofuna ukuthi ngibheke maphepheni wami ukuqinisekisa ukuthi yenake isaykhi yakhe yephenent yaba nini lokho ke ngizokwazi ukuthi ngicoce kanyeke ngizithumise naye ke umshushisi wezakhi thank you mother it's 10 days okay for this exercise 10 days that will be that by the what's the date today the 18th by the 18th that will be sufficient to vote okay by the 18th then the prosecutor mr ramosepidi will advise me accordingly okay thank you sir thank you yes sir at this stage the state wish to hand in an update in terms of section 236 of the criminal procedure act 51 of uh, 1957 of the bank records of um, case number 2 mr bongani ntanzi i'll just briefly put the contents there of on, uh, on on record this will be exhibit dd1 just to keep it together with the clocking uh, history that has just been handed up exhibit dd and it's first law rest cast 63610 of 2014 affidavit in terms of section 236 of act 51 of 1977 with the heading proof of entries in accounting records and or documenta- documentation of banks i the undersigned Carolina Petronella Buota do hereby state that i am in the service of Capitec Bank 60 Main Street Johannesburg here in after referred to as the bank paragraph 2 i have examined the entries in the accounting records and the documents of this bank as set out in the annex of the sorry 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 just before you proceed have you supplied that document to mr ramosepiti yes is that so sir i do have it now okay yes yes so see i i i told him that i don't remember that no but the prosecutor said this concerns only accused number 2 Yeah, But but my concern really is about what is happening now. Yeah, so that you know we need to record it because nobody is asking us. Uh-huh. I don't know where it was discussed with Mr. Ramsey because it was simply said that they did something to the record that was never discussed with us. It is as if we're not part of the trial. And the indictment and the alleged common papers. No, fine, I hear you. Yes. It, it was discussed with Mr. Ramsey. We need to discuss Hello? this information first before this. this process can unfold it, it was discussed with mr ramsey but not us <laughs> can, can i then proceed to my lord um, we will make copies for the tbc you know what to be fair can you recall mr melder do you have his number um yes he is also by the you have uh, no 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 he must cross examine oh sorry just for mr melder or i think it just should be outside <laughs> Just for Mr. Mulder. Mm-hmm. The I was quickly calling him. Thank you. 
Well, uh, I beg permission to approach my learned colleague, Mr. Baloy. Is he still around? Uh, I'm told um, his phone is off. Hello? Maybe a gen for it. I don't know if my colleagues have got cross examination for him. Yeah, no, let's wait for Mr. Muller first. Because Mr. Mchololo approached me in chambers and said he's aware that you are only going to be leading the evidence of uh, number two and she requested to be excused so that she must be deputized by her learned colleague there. So I took it for granted that these things are discussed and you adumbrated it by saying that what you are going to lead, the evidence only concerns accused number two and nobody objected at that stage. So I took it that it was by arrangement. <coughs> I, 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 I didn't seem to get any, any signal from my colleagues that they want to join issue with anything that was said by the, by, by the witness. If he's not around very urgent, then he can come back tomorrow morning. Yes, but if I can make a suggestion just to find out from my learned friend if they have any cross-examination, because if they don't, then there's no point in him coming back. <laughs> No, no. Call Mr. Melder. I'll be accused of, not, of people not having a fair trial. So we can adjourn so that he comes and be cross-examined. Can you just adjourn briefly? Uh, and then tomorrow are you calling any yes. other witness? Well, um, we are at a stage, my Lord, where we want to start with a trial within a trial. No, no, fine. But I'm yes. saying, are you calling yes. uh, any witness tomorrow? I'm, I'm getting there, my Lord. And my learned friend, it affects uh, Mr. Ramos Sipili, and he has indicated to my lord that um, there are certain issues that he wants to consider. So, what I'm saying is that it's unlikely that we'll be sitting tomorrow. My lord, I, 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 I wish to determine clarity. In this trial, I've just indicated that the state of the indictment are saying that this accused person acted in federalities of the community force. Now, if, it, if they are alleging that the issue that they will be leading tomorrow they only affect accused number two, then they need to be specific that we so far as now, the other accused everybody. are concerned, they are then withdrawing the allegation of the community force in the indictment. No, then we will sit down and do it. It affects everybody. And then unless affect unless there is consent. Yes. Like, for instance, we let evidence here of Mr. Was Captain who Masita? Yes, Captain Masita. Yeah, and that evidence was neutral. Yes. Yes. I mean, if we were preoccupied with expediency and time, that evidence should have been admitted. Yes. We spent a day, Mr. Baloui. Yes. You are the yes. prosecutor. Yes, indeed. Uh, I yeah, we spent a day uh, yes. singing. Yes, I indicated that his and evidence. Then, uh, 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 you know, that evidence we all know, yes. it affects nobody here. Yes. Instead of you, as the Dominus Litus, trying to say this evidence can be admitted. Well, well, we did prepare an admission. The court will recall that we did prepare that admission, but it wasn't uh, admitted. And just to clarify what Mr. What Advocate uh, is saying, what we're saying is that uh, the statements affect the clients of uh, Mr. Ramasipi. That's what we say. 
So we are adjourning now. Uh, just, just to see if we can get hold of Mr. Mulder, just for a few minutes. Okay, five minutes. <laughs> As a court case, my Lord, unfortunately the witness has already left and yeah. I think his phone is still on silent mode. Um, I called him and also sent him a message. No, fine. He'll come tomorrow morning. That's the, the court cases. Um, uh, Do I, you I, have his WhatsApp number? Yes, I, I did send him a message, my Lord. No, I want to send him an order. Can you draft an order on your WhatsApp and I'll sign it so that he must know it's a court order. He'll think we are jokes because he was here. We let him go. Now we're saying he must come back. So we, we yes. need a, an order from this court. Yes, uh, I, I did mention in the message that it's an order of the court. Oh, okay, fine. Right, yeah, you say? Yes, um, we are on Exhibit uh, DD1, my Lord. So we are putting the contents there of on record in terms of section... No, no, Mr. Mnisi says he wants to be involved even in this. Yes, we will give him a copy of... You haven't given him? No, no not as yet, my Lord. We... No, you must give him. Yes. Mm. Okay. Don't you have a spare copy? Can we then, uh, maybe on that note, adjourn until, uh, until tomorrow? What's the time now? Yeah, let's adjourn until tomorrow. Okay.